At the age of 68, P. Parmis Bari can finally fulfill her dream to visit her son in Singapore as well as her brother in India. As she previously did not have a citizenship, she had been unable to apply for a passport to leave the country. On Thursday, Parmis Bari accepted the long-awaited document from the hands of the Prime Minister Datu Sri Najib Tun Razak. I've uh, been trying for almost 15 years and uh, actually my, really, today is a very great day for us. And uh, after so long, I think we, all of us are happy. And she can't wait to go to see her brother in Singapore, sorry, her son in Singapore. So we've been trying for so long for this and uh, First thing that I want to do is take her out, go to Singapore, then to India, and uh, that's it. Because uh, we're very happy. I, I I don't know how to say actually. Really, really happy. Her son Dharma Raj said the problem arose when her birth certificate was misplaced when the family moved to Bunting from Bentong. Parmis Bari was among 100 others who had recently been granted citizenship. Another recipient, Ng Hyang Moi, from Batu Caves, had never been able to find a job as she did not have a Mai card. Owing to the lack of a valid marriage certificate, her husband could not help her gain citizenship despite several attempts. Earlier in his speech, Najib says more than 60,000 citizenship applications, which had been pending between 1997 and 2010, have been resolved. And to date, 18,000 pending applications for birth certificates had been approved. He said these issues were among the promises he made 100 days after taking office. Najib says programs such as the National Registration Department Mobile Unit would be continued to locate other Malaysians without documentation.